What's going on, YouTube fans? It's Tim back with you here. Um, I decided we're going to go ahead and dive into the Flashing Lights game. I haven't played it in a while um, since the first time I played it. Um, again, you had only a taser that you could play with. Uh, I've been told that they've updated the game on uh, several different uh, fronts. So we're going to check it out and see what's what's going on with this game uh i was actually very very happy to to have gotten this game uh, i watched it for a while and i was waiting for it to be released and now that it had finally gotten released uh, there, there was some fixes that needed to be done of course uh some bugs in the system but you know all in all you really can't complain uh too much they did uh, a heck of a job getting the game out. Uh, there's still there's still things that I want to see um, happen, and uh, one of them being that you can only choose from three different officers. Well, the last time I knew, but we're gonna check it out together. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, let's see: max vehicle traffic five, max pedestrians five, parked vehicle density low. So we'll go ahead and we'll go start. I know the lighting's kind of bad, or too much lighting, but uh, this is the first time that I've decided to do gaming reviews. Uh, I have three small children that play games. They all love uh, Five Nights at Freddy's and uh, what's the other one there? Uh, Fortnite and Gary's Mod, so I know that they, they love the gaming as well as me. I've been a gamer for a very long time, ever since N Nintendo was the gaming system to have. And then uh, I've just upgraded to different systems. I do like using PC, uh, only because you can do a lot more as far as, like, you know, incorporating different files and re reconfiguring the game and, and stuff like that. But uh, we do, I do have a PS4, and the games that come out for the ps4 we're gonna dive into too just like my last video um i said that we we're gonna review uh, one of the games and that's out for ps4 as well all right so now we're at this screen here it says police firefighter or medic so i'm feeling happy so we're gonna go ahead and do the police okay so now we can choose male or female and the female, different body types, one, two, and three. Hats, one, two, three, four. So there's four. <clears throat> We're going to switch to the male, one, two, three. Well, I'm not really tall, so he wouldn't do for me. I guess he'll have to do. And then I like to have a hat, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go with a black hat. All right, cool. I'm going to hit done. Turn on some sound. Oh, that's changed. Um... When I was playing this last time, we'd be able to walk up here, and there used to be a pistol right here. So you used to be able to switch out your guns and decide what gun. Uh, let's see. Select vehicle? Sure, why not? We'll select a vehicle. What do they got? They got the Dodge Charger. Oh, Crown Vic. That's new. They didn't have that before. Undercover Crown Vic. I like that. Got the SUV. Ford Explorer looks like. Got the undercover Ford Explorer. Alright, so they're making changes. I think I want to be incognito. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take the undercover SUV. I never played with the SUV before, so this is a first time for me. Uh, register. Robbery in progress. Okay. So... All right, so I guess we don't have to do that. All right, so select yes for robbery in progress. I'll run out of here. And 
jump into the car if I can remember how to do this. Let's see. Left click. Okay. Left seat. Alright, so to shut the engine off, we got to use K, light sirens. Alright, so one does lights, no sirens. Two does sirens. Alright, cool. So now we got to go to the green dot. So we'll go ahead and hit the lights. Oh, 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 wait a minute. Oh, crap. All right. Ah, you know what? Let's use the siren, too. All right. Oh! Oh! That's cool. They changed the, they changed the lights in the front. Huh. If you hear the dog in the background, that's just... Protecting. Oh, jeez. A little sensitive. Oh, hit the barrier. Oh, there he is, right there. Oh, crap. How do I... How do I do this? Shoot. Alright, so I equip my taser. Got him. Alright, so now we need to reload the taser, so I think it's R. Okay. So now, okay, interact. Uh, commands, ask for ID. Now, I forgot how to do... A frisker. Ah, okay, so she had a weapon on her. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna place her in handcuffs. And arrest her. Now, this is the point where... When I played it last time, we could grab him and put him in the car, or... We can request a pickup. Transport. There we go. <clears throat> Prisoner transport for the suspect is en route. So, now, geez, I forgot how to... How to change weapons here. Uh, three. Oh! They added a pistol. Five, six, seven... Okay, so three is the taser, four is the pistol. So I always, when I play this game, I always try to get out in, with the taser because um, you don't want to shoot, you know, obviously a person that doesn't need to be shot. Um, person with a gun at... Okay, so we'll go ahead and respond to that code there. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to switch my pistol. Because if they have a, a gun, I mean, obviously, I don't want to shoot a taser with a gun. We're going to go ahead and turn on the f sirens here. Oop. Uh, a little bit different playing with without a controller. I, I kind of like the controller aspect more. Um, just because... We have, you know, I have a PlayStation 4. I have, you know, uh, controllers that are just a lot easier. Um, and you can control the vehicle better than using W, S, and D, and A. So we're going to go ahead and turn off the siren. Is that the person with the gun? Oh, crap, he's shooting at me. Oh, no. Oh, crap. Alright, that's something else that I don't really like, is the fact that... Alright, he just surrendered. Is the fact that, um... The gun doesn't stay with you if you get into the car. We're gonna go ahead and arrest him right on the spot. He was shooting at us, so I'm not gonna deal with that. Now, what would be even pretty cool is to be able to pick up a weapon... Like, if they're shooting at you, you should be able to pick up, like, a weapon right here or wherever they dropped it at. Kind of look around and see if you find one. 
but um, and then you know of course be able to submit that as evidence um, would be would be cool. Um, <clears throat> first, oh, jeez, I forgot to first the suspect. Okay, so we're gonna first the suspect. Of course, I already arrested him. Ah, he was apparently an alcoholic, so he was drinking. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and go back. I wonder if I can make him take a breathalyzer. Let's see. Oh, you can. All right. Okay, so we're going to request transport. Uh, sometimes I will turn around and take the suspect into the car, and we'll go ahead and we'll take him to jail. Right now, just for the sake of the video, <clears throat> I'm not really going to do that. Here we got We got the transport coming right now. And I forget how you do how you how you take cover. Um, I don't remember how you take cover, but I think it's C or maybe shift B. And, oh, that's map. Um, oh, there we go. Q is what gives you your radial wheel, so you can quickly switch between the two. Again, that's something different. I, I don't. I wasn't there before. Um, Okay, so we're going to go ahead and jump back in and kill our lights. Drive around a little bit. Oh, is that a diner you can go into? You know what? Let's pull over there and check that out real quick. Because, again, when I played this, it was there wasn't really much to it. Um, the game had just come out. Oh, nice! Alright, so now we got another person with a gun. Respond code 3. So we're going to go ahead and respond to that. Oh, I guess I'm typing stuff. Okay. Uh, okay. So we're going to go back out. We're going to jump into the car here. Uh, let's see. Alright, so we're in the car and C is your control so as you can see they've done some pretty nice modifications here oh geez I just jumped right out and rolled in the, out of the vehicle um, drunk driver reported I thought I responded to the other one okay so we're gonna respond to the drunk driver report to pull over suspect drivers and check alcohol level traffic stop follow vehicle left control okay um i'm not too sure how you make come on stop jumping out of the vehicle i don't know how you make the computer work or if that's not uh available at this time um but let's see here map reports of alcoholic driver in the area so obviously he's somewhere here Lights. God dang it. I don't see a report. I don't see an uh, alcoholic driver. I could use my turn signals like this or like this, but for the sake of the game, I'm just playing the play. Did you just go through a red light? Oh, I think that might be him there. He's going a little fast. Oh, almost hit the car.
<clears throat> Let's go see what this guy's deal is here. Uh, interact. Questions. License and registration, please. Albert Davis. Okay. And it looks like they're going to be doing um, other uh, questions like had alcohol recently, drugs used, illegal items on board, may I search the vehicle? Uh, if they do, and when they do that, that's going to be, that's going to be pretty, pretty cool. Uh, let's see. Tests. Alcohol test. All right. So this guy's blowing a 0.39. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to ask him to step out of the vehicle. We're going to go ahead and we're going to interact with this gentleman. Uh, I don't know how to pull up his information. Actions. Frisk. Now he's saying, well, what? What? ID card. <clears throat> we're going to go ahead and throw him in handcuffs. Because he blew a high alcohol level. Oh, oops. Resume. Alright, now we're going to grab him. So, actions. Uh, grab him. We're going to go ahead and put him in our car. Oh, shit. Alright, so we put him in our car. We're going to close our door. Although the vehicle's not gonna, behind us isn't gonna go anywhere. Uh, show truck is en route to impound vehicle. So we're just gonna hang out here for a little bit till the tow vehicle comes. Let's see. Let's see what they put in the trunk. Let's see. Weapons. Get number two weapon. Reload ammo. So what's number two weapon? Ah, shotgun. Huh. Okay, so the shotgun's in the car. Let's see. We have traffic spikes. We have the speed gun, the traffic vest. Huh. That's pretty cool. I'm digging that. Let's see here. Oh, what else do they have? Additional items. Spare tire. They're going to actually add a spare tire. That's crazy. Fun, but crazy. All right, so let's see here. Get out of here. Now we'll go ahead and close the trunk. All right. So now if I hit two, three, four, five. Okay, so number five is the shotgun. So three, four, and five is the weapons here. So still we're waiting for the tow truck. The tow truck still hasn't come by, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to talk to this person over here. See if I can. No, I can't. Alright. Oh, there's the tow truck up there. He looks like he got stuck a little bit. I think he... I think I might want to check him for, uh, for the alcohol level there. Alright. Thank you, sir. I appreciate you towing... Oh, you... What are you doing? Which vehicle are you towing? Uh, you didn't even... Oh, okay. Alright. You know, that's, that's what it is. All right. So we're going to go ahead and turn off our lights. We're going to take this guy to jail here. All right. So your horn your horn works. Um, when you don't have your lights on, it it's a regular horn. When you have your lights on, it changes the tone of the siren. So that would be H. I hit two again, just have the lights flashing. I like how they did the lighting though, um, to be on perfectly honest. Um, the the back lighting, the hazards flashing left and right, wigwags, the um, reverse lights flashing, the under um, under the back there, the uh, rear facing lighting, the sides. And then this right here is a really good detail. And, and where you would have the fog lights are your, your red and blues here. Um, in the uh, side mirrors here, that's, that's pretty uh, detailed as well, along with the, the, the headlights. Um, 
So for the most part, I mean, they, they've actually come quite a, quite a ways as far as uh, when I first started playing it. Uh, so I'm, I'm very happily surprised that I didn't get rid of the game and, and, and throw it out. Um, but I still think there's a little bit more critiquing to do. Um, when the guy jumps out, I've noticed that he does a, a tumble motion um, when he gets out of the vehicle. Um, so I don't know if that's a if that's a bug or if that's just something that uh, hasn't been uh, fixed yet. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take this guy out of our car because he's starting to smell up the joint, especially being that you know he's an intoxicated driver. He probably peed himself. You know what I mean. All right, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to bring him in here. Um, I think that's where the, uh, when we go in here to bring him in, that's where the registration is, I believe. If I'm not mistaken. Okay, yep. So we can hit enter, 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 and they take him right into jail. So again, um, the callouts here are pretty pretty cool. Um, they're not as in depth as as one of the other games that I've played, which is is okay. Um, this is this is just a beginning to hopefully what will be another great police simulator game, um, because everything everything takes time. Everything takes uh, time to build, time to get off the ground, time to make better. Um, you know, GTA five wasn't done within a year. Um, you know, it took them a little while to do that. Plus they had a umpteen million people on it. Um, so I mean, with everything, you know, when you wait for something long enough, you know, things, things will look up and better. Uh, let's see reputation points. I have 4303. I've made 73 arrests, 10 parking tickets. So not bad, not bad. So we're going to go. Uh, let's see. We're gonna take a let's let's take a right. Okay, so we're gonna take a right here. We're gonna take a left up here. Oh no! You know what? I think I see something. We're gonna take a right. <clears throat> My computer is a little bit glitchy, so I do apologize. Um, we're gonna look for vehicles that are not parked correctly. Oh, there we go. We got one. I'm gonna stop. Get out the vehicle. Oh, let's close our door so no one takes the door off. Okay. So this car right here looks like it's parked correctly, but if you notice, there's a fire extinguisher, a uh, fire uh, hydrant here. So this gentleman is parked in a no-no zone. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna issue a parking ticket, uh, blocking fire hydrant. I'm going to go ahead and enter the license plate number, file number, the date, time, and issued by. And then we're going to click done. So now I just got 10 reputation points and one to my parking tickets. Oh, let's see. Ah, oh, you know what I can do too? I think, uh, if I'm not mistaken, I think I can have this thing towed out of here. Oh, maybe not. Let's see. Uh, Okay, so that's just another thing that I'd kind of like um, twerk on the game is, oh, did you really just speed past me? Um, is I would make it to where if you're ticketing a vehicle for being parked in a fire hydrant, that you can also um, have it towed out because it is a safety concern, especially for the fire department. The fire department needs to get there or whatever. Oh, Jesus. All right, this guy looks a little drunk to me. We're going to pull him over. See how he just rolled out of the vehicle as I got out? Um, just another thing that, you know, a small fix that will definitely help the game and help make the game a little bit better. Um, <clears throat> this is registration. And I just put this guy in jail. Uh, different guy. All right. So we're going to ask him to get out of the vehicle. I'm going to go ahead and interact with him. So I, I'm thinking that I'm smelling some alcohol on him. 
ID card. Hmm? He has no alcohol. He just was a shitty driver. I guess that's what that was. Okay. Um. Actions. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna. What's that over there? Can you tow it from both sides or just one side? Request tow. Okay. Let me go back and see if I can run his information real quick. I'm not too sure. Now, how? Alright, C, C, computer. Alright, so how do I use the computer? Right, that's map. B. B, X, D, F, F, G, H, F. Oh, lights gives you the headlights. Okay, I'm not too sure how to use the computer, obviously. Um... And then F is your four-way hazards. Um, and it says F1 toggle window. F2, F3, F4, F5. Okay, so... Um, <clears throat> I'm going to have to figure that one out um, as far as being able to uh, use the, the, the... Oh, there we go. Oh, shit. It was uh, shift. Alright, so what do we what do we got here? Alright. Uh, city of U Island. Resume. That's new. Okay, back. Uh... That's your speed indicator. <clears throat> Search database. What would it be? Uh, enter. Oh, wait a minute. How the heck? Okay, so you use your scroll to scroll. Okay, person's full name. Okay, so this is different as well. So, Andrew... And then what does that say? Um, Curry. C-U-R-R-Y. Enter. It says, male, driver's license valid. Birth date is 7 1979 Zero traffic violations, zero parking tickets, no arrest warrant, zero arrest history, and he's not wanted. So, I guess he was just driving like an asshole, basically. Um, so, okay, so now how do we get out of this? Uh, let's see, control, control. Uh, okay, so now, I can look around. Okay. Okay, uh, so... Come on. Shift. Shift. Okay, so shift is what gives you your computer. Okay, just so everybody knows. Because, again, I haven't played this game in a while. So it's a little bit different than what I was used to playing. So now, up here we have his license plate number. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to enter that information in as well. Just to make sure that the plate comes back being for the car. 18H dash 41 dash 18H. Enter. Andrew Curry, registration's active, insurance is valid. It's a city sedan, white in color, and it's not stolen. Okay. 
So now we can release this guy. We'll just, you know, take it as he was just a shitty ass driver. Too bad you couldn't get him for like, you know, <clears throat> for being on a cell phone or something like that, you know, uh, distracted driving. I mean, the way he was driving was, you know, kind of just messed up, but okay. We're going to let him go. Yeah. Okay, man. Don't do it again. Don't let me catch you. Okay. Don't let me catch you again driving like an asshole. No. Okay, so no, no item to return. Ah, oh, come on. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna let him go. So, commands. Uh... We can't just let him go. Actions. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe it's under actions. Yeah, I had nothing. Uh, oh, maybe it's cancel? Well, let's try cancel. Okay. Now we're gonna walk away. Hopefully he gets in his vehicle, he has a great day. Now he's gonna stand in the street. Okay. Well, go for it, buddy. Alright. So now we're gonna go back into the vehicle. And we're gonna cancel out our lights. And last scan result. Okay, we're gonna shift. Go back. Okay. In this one, like, I'm gonna try it out. Because this, again, wasn't part of the, the, the game design when I had first started playing it. Um, this person would move the heck out of my way. Of course, he's not going to, is he? Um, we're gonna sit somewhere, and we're gonna kind of look and... Get out of the way, dude. I'll let you go. Have a great day. Bye. Oh, almost into a building. We're gonna go on ahead and we're gonna sit somewhere. And we're gonna see... This looks like a good spot. So now we're gonna go inside the car. We're gonna go back to our computer. Uh, we're gonna scan in the front. Uh, I don't really care about that. Okay, so we're going to resume. <clears throat> He's still standing over there. What are you doing, buddy? Uh, keep walking. Keep walking. Oh, check that out. It's got a little a little lamp up there. Huh. Uh, so what's that now? Oh, I don't like that. I don't like that. God, cheese and crow. Yeah, I don't like that view. Ah, here we go. It automatically switched. Okay. Insurance expired. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to light them up. That's cool. That, I, I do, I do really like that. That's pretty cool. Oh, we just crashed into a fence. All right. So his insurance is, insurance is expired. Uh, the buttons are a little slow to respond for some reason. So I'm sorry if it's a little, if it's a little messed up. All right, so we can get out the vehicle. And the other thing that I would suggest, and just, you know, just for the sake of the realism part, is a lot of the vehicles have a front push bar on the front for doing pit maneuvers, 
Um, having something like that on there would be actually quite helpful, especially when you're trying to, you know, stop a vehicle or if they're fleeing from you and you can't, you know, you can't get them with, with the sirens and telling them to pull over, uh, to do the, the pit maneuver, um, uh, is another thing that I would, I would suggest, uh, people can take it for what they want and, um, but that's, that's what I would do. All right, so we're not going to tell them to get out of the vehicle right now. We're going to do this a little bit differently. Um, we're going to go ahead and we're going to go back and we're going to run his information. Uh, the other thing that would be kind of helpful and nice would be to have a radio on the uh, officer itself. And you could actually call in over the radio and say what is uh, what their name is and, you know, uh, you want to run a check on it and see, you know, see if they're wanted or see if, you know, anything comes up. All right, so search. So now we got to zoom in again. So his name is Randy Jackson. Mr. Randy Jackson. All right, so R. Oh, come on, really? R A N. I can't. I can't type today for some reason. Randy Jackson. Mr. Randy Jackson is a male. His birth date is 1-1-1981. His driver's license is valid. Zero traffic violations, zero parking tickets, no arrest warrants. Arrest history is zero. He's wanted, it is, says. See down there? It says he is wanted. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to run his plate, too, just to see what comes up on that. Uh, 46. Da oh, crap. Dash 85. Uh, see, my fingers don't want to work right. 85M. All right. So we're going to run that. It says that its owner's name is Randy Jackson. The registration is active. The insurance is expired. It's a van, white. And it's not stolen. So, now we know we got our arrest warrant. And we have a active uh, and expired insurance. So, we're going to go ahead and we're going to pull this gentleman out of the vehicle. Mr. Jackson, I'm sorry to tell you this, but we have to pull you out of the vehicle. This lights, this you have a warrant for your arrest. Get out of the vehicle, please, sir. Do not run or I will tase you. Come here, sir. I didn't like the fact that you jumped over the car. You didn't need to. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna We're gonna frisk him. Need your hands up, sir. Please put your hands up. Don't make me shoot you. Don't make me tase you. Just put your hands up. Alright, so we got his ID card. We're going to go ahead and we're going to put him in handcuffs. He's in handcuffs now. We're going to call the paddy wagon in. Have them take him away, because I don't really want to take him to jail. I have other things to do. Police, prisoner transport for the suspect is en route. And we are going to go ahead and have his vehicle towed, because he cannot drive the vehicle. So, tow truck is en route impound. We're going to go back here. We're going to... Oh, there's the paddy wagon. Go get him, boys. Go ahead. Go get him. See, and when they get out of the vehicle, the, the whole vehicle jumps. So... Oh, did you get him? Alright, cool. Thank you, gentlemen. Appreciate your time. Alright, so we're going to get back in. So, yeah. Um, you know, they have done a lot of work on this game. I am definitely... Uh, impressed at the at the fact that they've they've added more to it uh there is obviously you know more that oh wait a minute if you're looking outside the vehicle you can hit shift and you can actually go back to your computer that is freaking cool i like that that is definitely very helpful okay so anyway, going back to what I was saying um i think it's awesome that they've actually did the updates on the vehicles um they did the updates on the vehicles. They've added more weapons. They've 
uh, have done different things with the computer, uh, has made the computer better, the, the gaming better. <coughs> um, they have definitely went above and beyond as far as like the lighting and uh, keeping up with the realistic, uh, the realism of the, of the game itself. Um, I don't see very much more that, I mean, that needs to be uh, done as far as being uh, appeasing to the eye, other than, you know, small little things here and there, um, especially make the characters to where you can customize them, make it to where you can um, choose, you know, to have different you know, different attributes uh, of the of the person you want to play as. Um, whether it be hair color, eye color, uh, facial expressions, hats, glasses, uh, stuff of that nature. Uh, the the call-outs are, are, are getting better um, from where they were before. The traffic stops are getting better. The uh, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping to see like uh investigations uh come come soon um where you can you know get called to investigate you know something or other and uh whether it be a traffic accident or uh a robbery or something like that again you know between the the police patrol 18 that i've played which we'll dive into on that one uh, at another time in this one here um this one i like because they've actually changed quite a bit of it they've actually made it quite better. Uh, and from my understanding, I guess they're going to do, uh, arrow sticks as well. So on the light bar itself, you can control, like, uh, have the left arrow, the right arrow, uh, left to right, right to left, uh, center out, uh, center in stuff like that. Uh, but, um, and I like police patrol 18 because, or police patrol, um, because there is investigations that you can go to. You can go to an investigation, you can go to a traffic accident, and you have to take pictures of the you know, tire marks and the, the, the stop sign. And you actually have to get more involved in that game uh, when, when you have to uh, do an investigation. So uh, congratulations, Flashing Lights. Uh, this is definitely a, a, a pretty good game. Um, pretty nice detail as far as things that have come the way of the game uh, since I first purchased it, which was when the flashing lights first came out. I mean, when it first came out, I was I was one of the first people to probably buy it just because I like this kind of stuff. I like the fact that, you know, you can, you can play the other side of the law. So, uh, and then I was watching Police Patrol for a while, and I had the date marked for when that was coming out, and I got that one as well. Uh, just like with uh, Police 1013 that I'm watching, uh, that's going to be another one. I'm, I'm, I'm waiting for the word that it's coming out, uh, whether it be on Steam or whether it be on whatever, and I am pre-ordering that as well, or I'm going to be ordering that as soon as it hits the market. Uh, along with the, a bunch of the, the, my friends uh, that play video games, uh, people that I know uh, in general, and everybody's very excited about it and uh, looks like a very, very uh, good game. Uh, and from what I understand, it's going to be very, very in-depth and um, it's going to set the standard for, for any other police simulator games that come out after it. So they're going to raise that bar up. I think Wingman Games is going to raise that bar to its highest level and it's going to be a real hard thing for other people to compete with and i think that's what's gonna that's what's gonna set wingman games up for for success so uh again um my name's tim and this is flashing lights uh one of the police simulator games that are out there and now that we dived back into it for the second time uh, again the first time that i played it it wasn't this it wasn't like this at all it, this game has actually come quite a quite a ways uh in the months that it's been uh been getting updates so i'm very impressed guys keep up the great work and uh police 1013 i know you guys are doing an awesome job keep up the work i hope to see that game come out and i will be one of your biggest supporters one of your biggest fans definitely and police simulate uh, uh police patrol 18 you guys uh you guys are right on the money too 
Um, a little bit of critiquing needs to be done on, on that on that game as well. But like I said, again, we'll go into that game uh, on the next episode. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, hit the like button. Uh, also, if you want to subscribe to get the latest updates and up, uh, the videos that I upload, just hit the subscribe button. All right. Talk to you later.